So the weather is not looking good for tomorrow's gender reveal. So Devin and I have come up with a plan B and I really hope that you guys have watched this vlog up to this point because this is so, so important, like really important. And I hope that every single one of my subscribers sees this or those of you that watch my videos because this is like really important. Good morning guys. Today is Friday. We don't really have anything going on today. There's no like appointments or anything like that. It's just me and the girls at home and my husband's coming home early today. So you guys might actually see him in this vlog. I'm not gonna promise. I'm not gonna promise. My husband is very, very camera shy. Not a little bit. I mean like really, he's very camera shy. So I can't like promise anything. But I'm going to try because you guys have like barely seen him and that makes me feel bad. So maybe, maybe, our gender reveal is tomorrow. I am ecstatic and I wish there was a better word for excited than ecstatic. Like a bigger word, but there isn't. So I guess I'll settle for ecstatic. I'm just seriously over the moon. I cannot wait to film this thing and I cannot wait to post it because I am dying. Dying to tell you guys what baby is and baby's name. Also today, besides prepping for the gender reveal, I'm also going to do a very small bump date because I can't do it tomorrow. I'm not vlogging at all tomorrow well aside from the gender reveal <laughs> the weather tells me that it's going to rain today all the way up until 8 a.m. tomorrow because of the hurricane the storms coming up I really hope that it just like misses us <laughs> just a little bit because I really don't want it to rain because that would suck if it rains like during the actual time that we're doing the gender reveal I really don't know what I'm gonna do I really don't. I have no idea. I have no plan B. <laughs> I only have plan A. Uh, I have no idea what we are going to do. Literally no clue. But I'm going to go get the girls. They're in there in their room and they want me to go get them. So I'm going to just go get them and start our day. Well, my goodness. See, this is why. This is why I did not want little girls to share a room. Carly, listen, you're gonna hurt your sister. Come here. You can't, you can't be in Sissy's crib, no. Oh. See, that is why I didn't want Carly and Kenley to share a room right now. Because Carly likes to climb into Sissy's bed. And I'm just partially afraid that she's going to stomp on her and hurt her. But she's kind of getting to an age now where she's really mobile. So should I, like, not be worried about that? And I literally just noticed your sister's diaper right there. Oh, my God. Carly. I'm sorry. I know. Sissy's gross. Let's eat. Let's eat. Today for breakfast, I am making pumpkin pancakes, but it's literally nothing fancy. It's just a box of mix, a can of pumpkin, and of course, the trifecta to make it taste like pumpkin pie. So in case you guys are wondering, this is two cups of mix, just made as the package instructs. I was doing one cup, but one cup looked really small, and I was afraid it wasn't going to feed us all, so I made two, and I made too much. <laughs> I'm good for that. It's uh, half a cup of the canned pumpkin, which is about half a can, and half a teaspoon of the trifecta that you just saw. So I'm gonna make some pancakes. Mm. And breakfast is served. Is that good? Are you good? It's good. Kenley's already done because she got fed before anybody else because she was Miss Fuss Pants. So Kenley got fed first. Is it good? I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Now it's time for mommy to eat. Oh, those one year old molars are at it again. Kenley! Sweetheart! Oh, baby. Hi. <laughs> Showing all your pretty teeth. See, I've got my one-year molars. Here are these. 
Our teeth. Your teeth. <laughs> Do you want to practice standing? Look, go get some of Sissy's food. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah, go get it. You can do it. Go, Kinley, go. You don't want to. Hey, don't, no, 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 no. No, don't give it to her. Put it on the table so Sissy can get it herself. There we go. Go get it. Look, look, Kinley. She's like, Mommy, you're silly. If you really think I'm going to do it, on command, you're insane. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> you're so funny, Mommy. Look at you trying. <laughs> yeah, just mock me while laughing. That's cool. That's fine. That's cool. You can do it. Look, Sissy is a very slow eater. Do you want to eat the rest of hers? I'm sure you do. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, do it, do it, do it. There she goes with her half meal thing. You can do it. You can do it. And eh, maybe not. Not today. I tried. Let's try again. No, 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 wait. Wait. Let's try again. Let's try again. Come on. Come on. Mommy, help. You can do it. Get your one foot. Oh, that's good. Good. Almost got it. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, sissy. You almost got it. Oh, now she's going to throw a fit. <laughs> Mommy was trying to help me. My life is tragic. Okay, now that McKinley is totally fed up with me trying to help her to stand and pull up and all that stuff, I am going to very quickly clean up my living room. The nesting bug has hit me hard for some reason this week, and I'm going to clean up all of that. And then I'm going to wash some pumpkins and start prepping for the gender reveal. Okay, now let's go wash some pumpkins. What is that? Can you tell me what that is? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Very good. <laughs> she was calling them apples, and I was like, no. <laughs> Definitely not an apple. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I love the way you say pumpkin. <laughs> so I'm going to paint one of these blue, and it's going to say boy, and the other one's going to say girl. And, well, you guys are just going to have to wait after that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with pink just because it sounds like a good place to start. Grown children who are watching this who have had type A mothers who did not grow up to also be a type A person. I hope you understand when I say that I'm not type A. I'm very much like a type B person. But the expectation of the type A is in there. Like to do perfect and for it to look perfect. And you know what I mean? But my personality is not there. I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. I hope there's somebody out there who's like, yes, I'm like that too. Yeah, that's very much me. So I'm getting a lot of anxiety doing this because I want it to be perfect and I know it's not going to be and I have to just be okay with that. And I'm trying to be okay with that, but it's still there. It's still in my head. Like it has to look perfect. Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. So let's just, let's just do this thing. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. I'm just gonna have to be okay with my imperfections. And there are the finished boy and girl pumpkins. 
the girls are taking their nap, so I thought I would do like a little bump date uh, because I'm going to miss my 20 week one tomorrow. And it's just one day. So, I mean, it's really close anyway. So, I'll just go ahead and do a small bump date. First, I'm going to share my symptoms, and I'm not going to share all of them like I normally do. I'm just going to touch on the new ones and the ones that have been bothering me. Uh, new symptom this week, I'm starting to feel Braxton Hicks, which normally I do start feeling those around 19, 20 weeks. It's about midway through pregnancy, and it'll happen all the way up until I give birth. <laughs> but it's not my whole belly. It's just the bottom part of my belly. It'll uh, tighten, and it'll you know feel like a contraction in the bottom part of my belly, and then it'll go away. It lasts for maybe a few seconds. I won't start having like regular Braxton Hicks contractions until I'm in my third trimester, normally. So this one's just a baby one. It's just one that's getting me ready for that because I know it's coming. And another new symptom is obviously I can feel baby like all the time, but now I can start to feel baby in my ribs. And baby likes this rib and then it'll go to this rib and then it'll like swing down and be transverse for a while and then it'll just start the cycle back over again. So this child is an acrobat and really loves to move. McKinley wasn't much of a mover. Carly didn't start getting really crazy with her movements until I hit my third trimester and then she was a crazy girl. But I don't remember her being like super active like holy cow girl calm it down. I don't remember that but uh, she was pretty active. So I have a feeling that like all three of our kids are gonna have totally different personalities, like really different. And yeah, we're, we're in trouble, I know, I know. The major symptom that's been hurting me this week is sleep. Obviously, I'm not getting any, like at all. <laughs> when I finally do fall asleep, I wake up a lot and it takes me forever to fall asleep and then I wake up early. Sleep has been hit or miss and it's been really hard to get. Uh, not because I'm like uncomfortable or anything, but just because I just, can't sleep. I'm considering starting to actually take something for it. I just don't know what. Probably Benadryl. Uh, but not a lot. I hate, 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 hate. Let me just emphasize it one more time because I don't think you all like really have gotten it. I hate taking medicine when I'm pregnant. I'm just terrified. I always have been. Every time I'm pregnant, I'm just terrified of hurting baby or affecting baby in any way. And I really try to avoid medicine if I can. But at the same time, I'm not sleeping, like, at all. And it would be nice just to have one night where I can catch up on some and actually sleep. Really quick weight update before I do my bump shot. Uh, last time I updated you guys my weight, I was 157, and I am now 159. Okay, now I'm going to do my bump shot and show you guys my belly this week. So this is my 20-week bump, or as of tomorrow, 20-week bump. From the front, from this side. Back around. This is with the shirt up. This side. This side. I feel so much bigger this week. I feel huge. But it's going to get a lot worse. <laughs> but that's what my belly looks like right now. So Kinley woke up and she's eating her lunch over there. Is it good? And I'm going to edit some videos so this video can hopefully be up today. So I will see you guys around dinner time. So the weather is not looking good for tomorrow's gender reveal. So Devin and I have come up with a plan B. And I really hope that you guys have watched this vlog up to this point because this is so, so important. Like really important. And I hope that every single one of my subscribers sees this or those of you that watch my videos because this is like really important. I'm going to post it all over my social media. But I know that not everybody follows me on social media. So our plan B is that we are going to do our gender reveal live on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time USA tomorrow. If anything changes, and I doubt that it will because Deb and I are probably like 95% set on this, that this is what we're going to do. Uh, but if anything does, I will post it all over my social media and I will also do like a very short one take so that you all will know if something changes, but I really doubt that it will. So if the weather continues to be as bad as it is and it's looking pretty bad, tomorrow, October 8th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time USA is when we're doing our gender reveal. And I'm really excited, and I can't wait, and I will see you guys hopefully then. He's home. And look, look what he got me. Yum. I'm so loved. I love you too, babe. Love you. <laughs>
It's getting kind of late and Devin wants to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with me So I'm gonna close the vlog here Don't forget to like and share this video and if you're not already subscribed Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss my gender reveal tomorrow All of the links to all my social media is down below in the description bar So you can check that out and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye